is happening. Mr. Niwa, are you certain this is worth the risk? We are talking about Tatara Suna's furnace, after all. It may not pay oh. to act rashly. This is so specific. Like, this is for him. Mr. Niwa. There's no one else who can enter the furnace. It has to be me. Oh, shit. Is that so? <sighs> well, since you insist. Okay, is this new one? Who else? Who else is talking? <gasps> it's... Oh my god, it's his past! Holy moly! That name, Niwa was the man in charge of Tatara Suna. Plus, he belongs to the lineage of the Ishin art. Whoa! Okay, Paimon, relax. It was just a quick little moment. Oh, never mind. Wait, are we getting, like, skadooed into this memory? I have been in Tatara Suna for <laughs> some time now. You have shown me great hospitality, as has Mikoshi Nagamasa, and indeed, everyone else. No! Wait, what? Under your leadership, Tatara Suna is a warm, welcoming place. <coughs> like a giant village. People are gainfully employed. Their lives have purpose. They are motivated. Chat? Chat. Oh my god. Remember when the Deluxe skin event came out? During that event, I said, they just did something that I've been asking for since like Zhongli story quest. The Deluxe skin event was like a cool way how they revisited the past. And they did that through the ley line. And I said back then, this is before we knew about Ermansoul, since ley lines run throughout the entirety of the world, doesn't that mean they could technically do past events again? But like grander because because there's memories of the in I'm not even joking I literally said that this something like this would happen and it actually happened oh, look at him go so focused oh and that's so, so Pyro when he's bro in time, huh? oh my god yo 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 mihoyo can literally do flashback events through using the ley lines in game now. I actually am more confident now than ever that we'll get moments of the past in future updates in the game. Please, I wanna see Lady Vanessa. Please, I wanna see the Archon War and the destruction of Conria and all of this other cool shit if ley lines work this way. It's pretty much confirmed at this point, and we're seeing it now. That's so neat. That's so sick. I'm so fucking happy. Anything that's happened in Tavat, we can experience now. I can't believe this is actually happening. The Deluxe skin event was minor because it was through a ley line, but we're now at the freaking world tree that retains the knowledge of the entire fucking world of Tavat. So anything that's ever happened can be experienced. Also, Niwa... He's got the fucking Kazuha hair. So this guy went on to go on to have a son and that son was adopted in, uh, into the Kaedehara Kazuha. Clan. So technically Kazuha is a Niwa by blood, but a Kaedehara by name. As I understand, the Raiden Shogun has, in recent years, eliminated much of the evil that plagued Inazuma. Mm. As for Tatara Suna, it was originally established as a means of safely disposing Crystal Marrow. <laughs> R.I.P. Orobashi, but... It was used as a way of kind of like dealing with Orobashi's corpse. The forging industry with Crystal Marrow as a raw material has since flourished, giving rise to generations of swordsmiths. Some world-renowned, others unknown. Hmm. All passing on their legacy. So I'm assuming this is Miyazaki talking because he's Niwa's second in command. Skills, blood, dreams... Every smith brought Yo. into this trade looks to find their purpose between steel and blade. Hmm. That is why you accepted the proposal brought to you by myself and Akame. Yo, this man's from Fontaine. He looks like he's from Fontaine, which would make sense because Xavier was here dealing with the Tataragami after, uh, or the Mikage Furnace when we got to Inazuma, actually. Yes, well, were it not for you coming to Inazuma and happening to make Akame's acquaintance... The oh. two of you never would have joined forces. Okay, never mind. And he would be the first to admit that there's no way he could have revolutionized our forging process like this on his own. At least not on the same time scale. All right. You allowed Akame to take all the credit for a method that you jointly developed. Ah. Uh... He sold it to me. And now every piece of ore here is smelted using the new technique. I see. Even now, you remain one of Tatara Suna's key consultants working right here alongside us. Holy moly. I believe it is you, sir, 
who are truly responsible for the changes in our manufacturing and forging methods. That's crazy too, because when the Mikage furnace and all that shit was acting up, they talked to some, like they brought over someone from Fontaine to help with it. They brought Xavier, who's one of the daydreamers. <laughs> you flatter me. From the outset, I saw much that was commendable in the forging industry of Inazuma. And it has been my great honor to befriend you all. All right, so this guy's name's Escher. Calling it right now, he's uh, he's a daydreamer of his timeline. Because this is 400 years ago, too. So this is a while ago. So you say, Escher. But is this really the truth? My good sir, what do you mean? Uh-oh, hold on. I tried to resist thinking it was all connected. Because I didn't want to speculate. And I didn't want to believe that things could turn out this way. What have we gained from adopting your new technology? Ominous black smoke? Mounting production problems? Uh-oh. Worker fatigue and casualties are up and continuing to rise at an alarming rate. Oh, okay, so there's been a trade-off with all this stuff going on. And recently, as you well know, someone died because of that strange filth inside the furnace. We've kept the truth from spreading outside, Bill. but still... I suspect you understand it better than I do. Yeah, so Crystal Marrow is cultivated from the essence of a god, and that essence still is going to be smelted down in one way or another. And so, you know, Tataragami, Festers, and whatnot. None of the people who went out to get help have come back. Now, our mutual friend, the Kabuki Mono, mm. is taking the Golden Feather to Narukami Island to seek an audience with Shogun. This is our last hope. The Golden Feather? But that doesn't phase you, does it, Escher? Nothing does. What the hell? Otherwise, why would you still be standing there with that smile on your face? This man's really out here, dude. <sighs> I'm just surprised that you finally chose to be so sincere. I'm sure you've been harboring these suspicions for quite some time. All right, this guy's a little sus. Is it going to say what happened to Niwa? They suspected that he left with his family. Mikoshi Nagamasa may have noticed that there was one common denominator among all these events. Mm. Namely you, Escher. But Mr. Mikoshi is more cautious than I. He does things by the book. <laughs> okay. After all, Nagamasa is the adopted son of Mikoshi Torichio, the yokai struck down by the Shogun's own hand. Allegedly. If he truly seeks to redeem his family's honor, an abundance of caution is well advised. Damn, and nobody knows what happened to her, too. Like, she was apparently, like, corrupted by the Abyss while trying to defend Inazuma from the freaking Cataclysm. And in the end, she's seen as, like, a traitor or something. Like, damn, bro. You're well informed on the subtleties of his situation for a mechanic all the way from Fontaine. Hmm. Are you sure you're not a little overqualified? <laughs> Why, Mr. Niwa, are you suggesting I find a job as a diplomat? Sadly, I am so very attached to my craft. A little too much, maybe. Enough, Escher. I'm here because an evil force is raging inside the furnace. And someone needs to take your new device inside the high-risk zone so we can absorb it and put an end to the problem. I'm in charge here. And I'm about to take some responsibility and head inside. Jesus. Probably to my death. But what about you? What are you still doing here? Yeah, what are you gonna do about it, sir? That's your creation. Judging from the look in your eyes, you don't seem to trust me. It's like he knew this was gonna happen, and he's like, eh, it's their problem. Drop the act. We're past that now. Whoever you are, it looks like your plan to destroy Tatarasuna has worked. Is this like an inside job? Like an effort from Fontaine to like cripple Inazuma? I just wanna know what you're still doing here. What's left? <gasps> Don't you have all your answers by now? Honestly, I'm just waiting for the right moment. Oh my god, he actually A got killed. A moment like this, where you finish talking and I stop you from entering the furnace. <sighs> you... You... Bruh. He actually died? <sighs> You're a little smarter than I initially gave you credit for. Wait, what the fuck? Why did Fontaine do this? What's up with the previous Archon? It's not full. I don't know if it's full Solor still at this time. I thought I'd disguise myself exceptionally well, at least for the first few days. 
But to my surprise, you had your people look into my background right from the start. It's a long journey from Inazuma to Fontaine, but mm. that didn't stop them. Eventually, they managed to confirm that Escher was an alias, and that I was not from oh. Fontaine at all. What the hell? Okay, I'm getting debated. I'm just gonna shut up. <laughs> and yet, despite all of that, you still fail to realize my true identity. And what I seek in Tatarasuna. Oh my god. Did you really think you would be able to see through my plan? No fucking way! Oh my god! I thought this was just a random fucking guy! <sighs> if you kill me, there's no one who can get inside the furnace. So you're really going to destroy this place? No way! Is that it? Is this one of his segments? Oh, but you're quite wrong. There is one other person. Mm, some may not see him as a person, but you told him yourself. You're not a puppet. You're a human. You're just missing a heart. Dottore's like 400 years old at least. At least. Bro, are all of the Fatui Harbingers just fucking old eldritch beings? I feel like Child's the youngest and like the most not serious out of all of these people. And he knew about Scaramouche being a puppet and he still was like, nah, you're a human. Whoever you're working for won't get away with this. Mm -mm. They'll be found out. But this makes no sense. <laughs> what are you really trying to accomplish by all this? Why go to all this trouble? That's crazy to think that Dottore had a hand in Inazuma's downfall. He was like, you know what? I'm going to get my just desserts. I'm going to be the one to get the Electronosis because I put in work 400 years ago that made things easier for the Balladeer when he went there and got the Gnosis initially. This man actually pulled up in two different regions and put in work. That's actually crazy. Like the actual like long con play is insane. It's no trouble at all. Patience is a virtue which I have in abundance. Same. This is all part of a carefully controlled experiment. Dude. And if Piero told him to do this, Piero's literally playing Astro Chess right now. Like, imagine doing something now and then be like, all right, this is going to pay off 400 years from now. I just know it. If you must know, I'm happy to divulge my true identity. <sighs> I'm a Fatui Harbinger. Call me... The Doctor. This is the true first introduction because technically this is 400 years before we actually meet him for the first time. So they should have done another one of those shots, like the freaking beta version or whatever, because it's a fucking NPC model. The Fatui? The beta build. Who? What do you want? Just to create a minor inconvenience for your nation. Damn, that's some fucked up shit, dude. That's it? That's why you... Gave us your cursed technology just to let loose the evil energy from the crystal marrow. I expect the Harbin just to know everything, so they probably have access to Ermin Soul as well, somehow, some way. They have five Gnosis now. <laughs> Look how even the righteous soul is filled with venom when faced with its demise. And then he went on to recruit the puppet balladeer. That's crazy dog my device functions precisely as you say it is the only chance you have of preventing a catastrophe and keeping the truth from the outside world however i did not make it with you in mind it is easier for a person to be possessed by evil spirits when they are filled with hate so give in to your fury I want to see what happens when a malevolent heart is placed into an unsuspecting puppet. Oh. Make no mistake, even without you, that pure, innocent puppet would only end up being used by someone else instead. Now, why not me? What other reason would a human have for befriending one who is not of our kind? Hello again. Um, I don't know. You're just an empathetic person. You empathize with any living being or sentient being, I, I would say. <coughs> That's fucked, dude. 
thinking about it now, Dotore killed Scar, one of Scaramouche's friends and caused the second betrayal, which is what I mentioned during the 3.3 live stream. I was like, what if Dotore doctored Scaramouche's life experiences and pushed him to become who he is to join the Harbingers? And lo and behold, it actually happened. <laughs> if you give him my heart, tell him that both Nagamasa and I see him as one of us. Oh my god. He has nothing to prove to anyone. Because not everyone just wants to use other people. The only ones who think like that are people like you are people like you fuck you dotore yo dotore is actually public enemy number one bro it's on site when i see this man first fucking scaramouche kali nahida like bro the next time i see you dude on fucking site bro i don't give a fuck what a beautiful way to see the world it almost makes me feel a little guilty hmm then out of respect for you, I shall redefine myself. Uh, Think of me as a monster or a demon. There you, you go. At least this way your death is not a consequence of your own folly turning you into an easy target. You simply lost to something more powerful than you could ever hope to defeat. And he's got to have the last word, too. Fuck this guy. I love Dotori as a villain. I hate him as a person. I say, Mr. Niwa, let's see what happens. Will your puppet friend become a human? No, that will prove quite impossible. Was he actually serious when he said, I'm going to put your heart into a puppet? Mr. Niwa. Already dead. What a pity wow we have confirmation no he did not leave the nation with his family he's fucking dead <sighs> and now scaramouche knows wow jester i have completed the task you gave me creating a gap and infiltrating inazuma's inner workings <laughs> What fun it was. Wow. It's like, all right, 400 years from now, we're going to take the puppet. We're going to mature him up. We're going to awaken his latent potential. And then we're going to have him come back here and essentially sabotage his countrymen and his entire nation. That's fucking diabolical. <laughs> I'd like to introduce a puppet to you. If he proves useful, let's make him our newest comrade. And if not, mm. let's turn him to dust. If he becomes the sixth, does that mean they're already five deep? <laughs> Puccinella has to already be there, right? Because he's the fucking... He's an elf like Klee, so he probably has a long lifespan like her. And he's the mayor of Snezhnaya. That just works in tandem with the Sarita being the archon of that place. So maybe he's also there too. Bro, Scaramouche is... Few Bro, I'd be fucking vexed. I'd be like, bro, I was just fucking toyed with and my family was like taken from me. Hey, are you all right? Dottore. <laughs> Dottore. Like you can't help but just be like, what a play. <laughs> like that's just a level of manipulation that is unbelievable. Good, good. Was that the doctor? Did he turn into a mechanic from Fontaine? He was the one behind the Tatarasuna incident. But why did we see things from his perspective? Because he knew him. When I touched the doctor to confirm whether he'd eliminated all his segments, I read this memory in his mind. Wow. You have to admit, it must be the truth. Yeah, wow. Fucking good on you, Nahida. Maybe so, but it means nothing. What do you mean it means nothing? It means you were manipulated. It was his fault. Does it? But this memory shows that Niwa didn't betray that you. That too. He never meant for you to be the one to take the device into the furnace. Wow. You know very well what that means. Even more so than I. He actually meant what he said. Hmm. 
This betrayal was a lie that he has believed for hundreds of years. Was that part of the doctor's experiment? Yeah. Man was gaslit for 400 years. If the betrayal never happened, it existed only in his imagination. But where does that leave him? Let's give him some space. He looks really mad. Paimon doesn't want to be anywhere near him right now. Bruh. We need to give him some time to process his emotions. Paimon's still confused about the Tatarasuna incident. So, the doctor was behind it, but why has that gotten him so worked up? Nobody has ever deceived you like that, Paimon. It's natural that you find it difficult to understand. Perhaps he needed to learn this someday. All of his motivations for what he did was never true. It's like a big Naruto moment for me. This is like Sasuke finding out Itachi's true intentions and then realizing his whole life was spent on emotions and anger and revenge that was never real to begin with. Like actually Sasuke. <laughs> so now you have the complete picture. Katsuragi took the Kabuki Mono to live with the people of Tatarasuna. Yep. Later, the doctor showed up, disguised as a mechanic from Fontaine. And that's when the trouble began. That's wild, dog. It was all a horrific experiment planned by the doctor. Everything he did was just to plant seeds of disaster in Inazuma that would bear fruit in the future. Both for the nation and for Scaramouche, because then to add insult to injury, he fucks over Inazuma's nation. They're in a crisis. He takes the puppet that was born from that nation, gaslights him for 400 years, then sends him back to his home to destroy it to like literally, I think Kuni Kazushi means like destroyer of nations and causes him to like destroy their entire infrastructure. Almost puts freaking Ayaka's family out of business. Sabotages and ruins all of Kaedehara's Kazuha's like lineage. Like that's unheard of. Of all the unwitting participants in the doctor's experiment, the Balladeer became the main test subject. Yeah, another test subject, am I right? After the events you just saw in that memory, the doctor put Niwa's heart into the device and handed it to the balladeer. Then he instructed him to enter the furnace and absorb all the filth caused by the smelting process. What the hell? The load was far beyond what he expected, but the balladeer survived. He left the furnace in sheer exhaustion and said to the mechanic, This device seems to have protected me. What's in it? The mechanic answered. Neela fled this place for fear wow. of punishment. But he left you a gift. Wow. He said it's the one thing that you've been looking for. He took it straight from the chest of one of his innocent servants. The mechanic removed the withered heart from the device as he spoke. The balladeer was stunned that such unthinkable cruelty had brought him the thing he'd been longing for his entire life. A heart acquired through wow. cold-blooded murder is a cursed thing, but it has protected him from the filth. He thought Niwa had completely betrayed him, and yet this very betrayal had ensured his survival. Overwhelmed with anger and sorrow, the balladeer threw the heart to the ground and left Tatarasuna without looking back. So this man literally was like, yeah, and I killed your friend too, by the way. Holy moly. So the doctor killed an innocent man and pinned everything on the victim? That's terrible. What amazing writing for Dotore. I feel like Dotore is the result of like every intrusive thought winning. He's like, I wonder what would happen if I just took like a hundred humans and put them in a room and just did some crazy ass experiments with them. Probably shouldn't act on those thoughts, but Dotore is like, oh, actually that sounds pretty fun. Let's see what happens. I can't wait for people to ask for a Dotore redemption arc. Being betrayed and abandoned by a close friend is sure to cause great resentment. Now we know who, what was behind the decision to take Take revenge on the riding Gokuden in a hundred years later yeah or a hundred years ago but it doesn't mean that vengeance was the right decision he was literally like nudged in that direction yes only if he understands this can he choose a new path forward yeah now he has to decide do i take revenge on dotore the same way i thought taking revenge on the riding Gokuden was the right call dotore you brazen face <clears throat> Niwa didn't run from justice. You killed him. Bro, I... I have no words. 
Jesus. I can't read his mind. I can't switch to characters right now. I'm only as Aether. Shall we see how he's doing? I don't know if this is a good idea, Paimon. Just saying. Hey, you all right? I can't imagine sorting through 400 years of betrayal would just be quelled like that. Paimon's like, hey, can we, you think we could talk to him now? It's like, I don't know, Paimon. We got maybe like 400 years worth of time to let him cool off and figure himself out. <laughs> oh, maybe he's good. That's a scary expression. Are you worried about me? If we didn't have such a history, I'd almost think that qualifies me to be your friend. He doesn't know how to trust people anymore, chat. We got to break through to him. We got to show him that we are different. We just want to make sure this doesn't affect the plan. It won't. I'll keep my end of the deal. <sighs> hey, are you investigating the stuff we want to know about? That's why we're here. If I were him right now, I'd be like, actually, you know what? I kind of want to learn more. If Niwa didn't betray me, did my mom actually betray me? You know what I mean? Like, I'd want to go even deeper. Holy but moly. But unfortunately, there's no information about the Descenders in Ermansoul. If there's no information on Descenders in Ermansoul, how the fuck do the Harbingers know about us? How do they know about Descenders, period? Even if you can't find anything, that seems to confirm it. Ermansoul does not keep records on the Descenders. Uh... Anyone who comes from beyond this world is not counted as part of Tavat. Oh, I see. Okay, I get it. That makes sense. So they are exempt from recording. All right, look up Alice real quick. If she's not pulled up, then my theory is confirmed. <laughs> oh, that's cool. So if you look up anyone and they don't have information on themselves within the world, then they're a Descender. That's a great way to just pinpoint who's who. Oh. Does that mean we have to leave empty-handed? Not unexpected, but still, thank you. Don't thank me just yet. Hmm, you look really upset. <laughs> well, since Ermin's soul was a dead end, mm. I guess I can share some other info that might interest you. Like why the sky's fake? You said that to us two years ago. You could tell us right here, right now. We don't have to wait till we get to Snezhnaya. Huh? About what? Oh my god. The reason why there are records about your sister and Ermin's soul. It might have something to do with Conria. Oh my god. Apparently, Conria was her first destination when she arrived in this world. The Harbingers know about our sister, which means that she's had a run-in with them. But how long after Conria fell did they start? Right, because I assume the Harbingers didn't come into organization until after Conria's fall. Plus... She only came to this world because the heavens responded to the summoning. Wait, what? She only came to this world because the heavens responded to the summoning. So someone called her here? Aether, wipe that smile off your face, bro. What are you smiling about? I have no idea what's going on right now. Oh my God. The gotcha pull? Damn, dude. The jester told me this himself. You can take his word on this. He was a royal mage in Conria and lived with your sister for a time. Wait, what? Wait, what does that mean? <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? What do you mean he lived with my sister for a time? Wait, he's a royal mage? I thought he was like the king or something. I don't know. I guess King Ermin's the king, but hold on. Okay, give me a second. Yo, we're getting Jester lore. Lived with my sister, whatever that means. That's so fucking weird because if you also throw Dane, like apparently her and Dane have history too. Were you just roommates? Is this like an I'll hate them cave situation where it's like, oh, the sustainer of heavenly principle and the Celestia gods destroyed your home, but I guess you can live with me and my, like, one-bedroom apartment for a while until you can find out what you want to do with your life. <laughs> the Jester? Another Fatui Harbinger? I don't know the details. It's up to you whether you want to believe me. All I can say is, I wouldn't lie to you about this. Did you get all that, Lesser Lord Kusanali? Yes. Astonishing news. Wow, we learned a little bit more about Conria. Does this info count towards my mission? It wasn't for Merman's soul, but was it valuable? Very valuable. <laughs> He's like, I did good. <laughs> that smile. Good. In that case, I'll take some time for myself now. Uh-oh. Nani? Huh? What have you done? Wait, what is happening? Scaramouche, you don't want to do this, pal. Lesser Lord Kusanali was right. My power's all but completely spent. Uh, Even if I use all of the divine power left in me, I can't sustain this shield for very long. Wait, why do you need to sustain a shield? What's going on? I shared a secret with you, and now you owe me. So in return, 
I'd like you to answer a question for me. What? What do you want to know? Give me your hand. Like... Like in marriage or... <laughs> All right, anyway. All right, this is going way too fast, all right? You only just found out about your friend here. Wait, is he gonna transfer some knowledge? Can you hear my voice inside your head? Get fucked, Paimon! Now we're having a conversation without you! <laughs> you trying to brainwash me? No, I can't do anything like that anymore. At most, all I can do is exchange a few words with you. Yeah, Paimon's like, I know what's going on here. So tell me. In this world, is it possible to change the past? Oh, I don't think so. Nani? Wait, why would you ask that? Done. Huh? What the? <laughs> what happened? Paimon only saw you hold hands for a second. Yeah, I thought you guys were about to start making out in front of me. What's going on? Nothing. I was just thanking him for helping me. I don't know if you can change the past. I know you can change the present based on like Ermin Soul, like wiping your existence and wiping people's understanding of certain things if it's taken or replaced or jumbled or scrambled or whatever. But I wouldn't necessarily say that changes the past. Like we can't go back in time and make it so Niwa didn't get killed. When I say the past, that's what I think of. Unless you get Istaroth involved. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I think you can. Wait, that look. Did he see me hesitate? But was that because I know about Greater Lord Ruka Devada? Uh-oh. So I long. I suggest you get yourselves out of here quickly. Wait, what the fuck just happened? Where are you going? Hey, wait up! Didn't you say not to go running off? Wait, wh where the hell is he going? Stop. Fast reaction time. But I don't think we'll be seeing each other again. What are you doing, sir? This isn't a part of the plan. Nahida, what's going on? From this day forth, the names Baladir and Kabuki Mono will cease to exist. Oh, he asked me the question, and I think my hesitation gave him the answer of like, oh, so you can, but you don't want to tell me. So all I have to do is make that possible. Those who died in Tatarasuna because of me deserve another chance at life. Wait a minute. Wait, you can do that? The domino effect of his existence would have never caused those people to die in the first place? Is that what he's is that what he's talking about? Hey, Valadir! Don't do anything stupid! You know, I never did like insects. What? Hordes of the puny things swarming together can be a real nuisance. And I enjoy nothing more than to stamp them out like the pests they are. Like what Ruka Devada did was she just made people forget she existed, but that didn't change the course of history. It just replaced it with Nahida. Maybe that's why nothing changed because Nahida was the replacement, but he's not putting a stand in for himself. He's, he's simply wiping himself. But if a colony of harmless ants isn't threatening anyone, I guess they deserve to be left alone. Luckily, Everything can be set right. It's time to solve this once and for all. What the hell? Baladir! Baladir! Uh-oh, he disappeared. Come on, we gotta find him somehow. So he went deeper into the tree? I thought this was the innermost part. Paimon, don't go too far! I want you to get... phased oh, no. out of existence. He's really gone! Also, how the hell do we get out of here? Can you hear me? Oh shit, what the hell? Nahida! Traveler, Paimon, Paladir, what happened just now? Uh-oh. I was suddenly cut off by some kind of power. The, the barrier, his divine power. It was the Paladir's fault. He, he shut you out. Damn. Oh boy. I didn't think he'd be capable of something like that with so little power left. Well, we're a descender, so that means we'll still remember him. Bro, we're actually witnessing everything. You know what I think, actually? I think what's gonna happen... <laughs> yo, get your fucking ghostwriting clipping ready. What I think is gonna happen... You know, like, in the Tavat chapter prologue trailer thing with Dainsleaf? 
He mentions that, like, if we defeat him, you know, defeat me, prove that you're worthy and I to rescue her, and the threads of all fate will be yours to reweave. Because we're a witness to everything that's happening, I wonder if us going and seeing the world and seeing all of these events and seeing all these experiences and documenting everything, like Zhang Li said, those who come to remember will remember, those who come to witness will witness. I wonder if we're going to be able to reshape the world based on the experiences that we've seen so far like we know everything that's happened in Tevat, and by the end of the game we'll know the entire like history line of Tevat, and we can because we know everything and we've witnessed everything i don't know if it's going to be through ermin soul or through abyss powers or through whatever this luma fate business is but i feel like we're going to be able to take all that knowledge and decide what happened and what didn't happen who lives who dies quite literally rethread fate in our image based on everything we know like we're going to become the new ermine soul or we're going to be able to create a new ermine soul it's essentially just going to be a new form of tevat but based on our witnessing of it i think that might be what happens here did he keep some of his power hidden when he was defeated or did he achieve something beyond his abilities and it took everything he had where the heck did he go Oh, it's all our fault. We were supposed to keep an eye on him. Oh Sorry, my god. Nishida. Does that mean that flavor text on Scaramouche is going to change again? Like those guys research paper. Are those guys research papers going to be different now? Because if he removes Balladeer and Kabuki Mono, Kabuki Mono is no longer going to be in those research papers. When Ruka Devada disappears in the game, the flavor text referring to her is wiped away from the game. Like you can't, if you've done the Archon quest to completion, anything regarding Ruka Devada automatically defaults to Lesser Lord Kusanali or the Dendro Archon. So those guys' research papers are going to be different now, I think. Don't be. It's not your fault. Please, let me handle this from here. Even though I'm not sure I can solve it. I'm wondering if there's any text that I haven't read yet that is going to be changed. We're running out of time. Follow my lead and get out of Ermansoul as soon as possible. Okay. We're out! And we're at... What the hell? Uh... <laughs> An inn or something? Oh, God. This is an emergency. I'll have to ask you to stay no! here for a while. Everything's arranged, and nobody will disturb you. I better not be in a fucking Sam's... Dude, was there a beep before I started this? I swear to God, this room is giving me PTSD. Uh, no, I want to help. I'm sorry, but this isn't something I need your help with. I swear to God. Leave this one to me. I swear to God. An emergency? How bad is it? Nahida, will you be okay? Don't worry. If my assessment is correct, though okay. there may be some minor disturbances, really it won't lead to a disaster. Please rest and recover your strength here until I say it's safe. I haven't done anything yet. I've just been chilling. Her voice is gone. Oh, Nahida, I swear to God, please don't do this to me. Paimon can't shake the feeling that something <laughs> really big has happened. Let me out! What do you think the balladeer meant? And why did he suddenly grab onto you before? Yeah, he was asking for my hand in marriage or something like that. But I told him that it'd be awkward if I had a wedding and my sister wasn't there. So I told him we'd put it on hold. That's another weird thing altogether. Like Paimon's such an anomaly. Paimon doesn't remember Greater Lord Ruka Nevada. And the balladeer's question was a strange one. It's hard to explain in full. And the truth might be very distressing for Paimon. I'll skip the part about Greater Lord Ruka Nevada for now and focus on the balladeer. All right. Paimon, sit down. He wants to change the past? But surely that's impossible. That is possible. And don't call me Shirley. It's not easy, that's for sure. Right. You can't just rewrite history. All that stuff happened already in real life. Oh, you sweet summer child. It's like, um, imagine Paimon drank all the water in this inn. Even if no one was there to see it, Paimon would sure as heck remember drinking it. World, forget that Paimon drank the water at the inn. <laughs> and then no one remembers, not even her. Yeah, great example. Hmm. So, why does Paimon still have a bad feeling about this? Paimon can't help but feel scared about what he might do. Ooh. Paimon's so confused. Maybe he wants to erase himself from history, yeah. Huh? Uh, you break it, you bought it, Paimon. I'm sorry. Paimon, you good? Sorry. Paimon accidentally... Ugh. What the hell? Mm. It's the Balladeer's fault for causing Paimon all this mental stress. 
Uh, yeah, there you go. When in doubt, blame others. But erasing yourself from history? It's unthinkable. Is that really possible in Ermansoul? Yo, can we use Ermansoul to, like, remove the fact that we broke that vase? Not necessarily, but maybe. Uh-oh. Paimon's head is overheating from trying to understand what he's up to. And it's still not working. So, uh, you gonna clean up that mess on the floor? Or are we just gonna leave that there for the innkeeper? Ugh! Paimon's had it with that little brat. He's been nothing but trouble ever since we met him. There's no way he'll actually succeed, right? Otherwise, won't everyone who's connected to him be affected too? And the worst part is you won't remember that you forgot, but I'll remember. I'll remember everything and I'll have to bear this burden by myself. Indeed, if the Balladeer does replace himself from Ermin, the only people that won't forget are Descenders. And it only matters to Descenders that know who Balladeer is before he ha that happens. So if the Balladeer does erase himself from Ermin, so many people in Inazuma will be affected. I can't imagine what that situation would look like. Wait a minute. The way I'm thinking about it was wrong. The way I originally thought about it was if he never existed, it literally rewrites history to where those people that died never died. But I don't think that's what it is. I think what's going to happen instead is because the Balladeer never existed, the perception of the things that he did would be rewritten. Would this then mean that the riding Gokudin was never destroyed and the integrity of Inazuma's infrastructure would have never been crippled by him existing, which means Dotore's actions wouldn't have affected Inazuma either. Well, Dotore's actions may have still affected Inazuma, but Dotore only did that maybe because of the puppet being able to recruit the puppet. If Scaramouche never existed, then that rewrites the riding Gokudin ever falling. Worst case scenario, it will affect everyone with a connection to the riding... I just fucking said that. Wow. Yeah, so it has a ripple effect with everything that directly reflects Scaramouche's actions. Kazuha's family line too? Oh my god. Will that mean Kazuha's like will be kind of like a different person then? Like, does that mean like his family will have never been affected by it and he's actually better off? I actually don't know what this is gonna mean for anyone. There's nothing we can do about it at this point. Hey, have you got any ideas on what we should do next? Seems like now there's nothing left for us to do but to go to sleep. But oh my god, Paimon's still so worried. Oh my god, Paimon won't be able to sleep a wink tonight. <laughs> oh my god, chat. If I go to fucking bed and I wake up and that vase is not broken and it's back on the table, I'm gonna be stuck in a fucking samsara again. So, how about uh, we list all our favorite foods to take our mind off things? Uh huh. Heck, if that doesn't work. Paimon's probably going to collapse of anxiety here. Bro, I'm waiting for it. All right. Paimon will start. First dish. Hmm. Munstack grilled fish. Oh, and chicken mushroom skewers. Jesus. Tea break pancakes. Cream stew. Sauteed matsutake. Damn, you skipped the sticky honey roast. And dragon chili chicken. Almond tofu. Satisfying salad. Are they really doing this? Oh, oh. Also, Adeptus Temptation, Golden Shrimp Balls, Triple Layered Consomme, Lotus Seed, What is happening? Soup, and, <laughs> and... Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> what is going on, dude? Oh, my God. Bro. What is happening? Um. Um. Okay, it's still on the floor. All right, it's still on the floor. Okay, we're not in a dream. Hmm? Right? Uh-hmm. Paimon, what's... What, what... What's wrong? Uh... What are we... What was Paimon supposed to be doing just now? What the hell just happened? Paimon was... Um... Talking? Huh. Paimon suddenly can't remember what she was talking about. What was it again? What is happening? Why is Paimon losing her memory? Why is the music getting, like, scary? You were getting so worried about the the situation with the Balladeer and you started listing foods. But it's morning now. Hmm? The Balladeer? Oh, my God. Is that a food, too? Huh. Weird name, though. It's happened, chat. He did it. This is actually unsettling that, like, everyone around us is just gonna forget everyone and everything but me. I can't share this burden with anybody. Not me! 
まさか<笑> Paimon doesn't remember the balladeer. This must mean he actually pulled it off. But how did he have that ability? That doesn't make. Yeah, how the fuck did he pull that off? What's wrong? Your eyes are like saucers. Was it something Paimon said? Yeah, this music isn't helping either. No, it's nothing. So, the balladeer. Is that someone's name? Because it sounds like a nickname or something. 1.1 didn't happen. Inazuma Art Conquest featuring the balladeer almost killing me? Never happened. Our fucking boss fight that we just did with Nahida? Poof. Never happened. If this is really happening, I need to know what else has changed. Nahida doesn't know either. Is she affected? I mean, she, she must be. Paimon, come with me. Hmm? Okay, sure. Where are we going? Inazuma, what the? Going to another country right now? Huh? Fine by Paimon, but... What the hell? Is everything okay? You're acting like this is an emergency. Just casual. Let's go to another country real quick. Now's not the time to explain. Oh my god. A dance of destruction. The balladeer has caused a series of unexpected consequences within Ermansoul. And you're the only one aware of it. In order to ascertain the situation, you head off to Inazuma. Yeah, let's see how this guy's business is booming. Ah, it's been a while. Pardon me, I'd like to ask a question if I may. Of course. Go ahead. About the ride in Gokuden. What's that? No. <laughs> oh, okay. Now there's a question I wasn't expecting. Okay. <sighs> Very well. I'll tell you what I know once more. The once renowned ride in Gokuden, comprised of <gasps> five branches. Okay. Aminoma. Futsu, Ishin, Hyakume, and Senju. All right, those last two, I don't really remember, but it just might be because I'm not very versed in knowing everything about the lore here. The art of forging practiced by these five clans was first taught to them personally by the almighty Shogun. Over time, the five branches diverged from one another as generations of bladesmiths honed and perfected their craft until they became five distinct traditions. Most of the great swordsmith clans of old have since fallen into decline. All right. And for a long time, only the Amenoma branch kept its heart alive. That all seems up to code. But fortunately, Kaedahara Kazuha recently returned to Inazuma. Oh shit. And took up the mantle of the Ishin art. Now, two clans remain. Of the original Gokuden 5. Oh my god. Kazuha is a completely different person now. If my memory serves me right, you yourself were present when he forged the Ishin blade. Oh, oh, never mind. This is from his story quest. Okay, yeah. I guess he fully restored it and he's, and he's bringing it back. Nice. Oh, yeah, we were. Yeah. Paimon remembers that now. Yeah, the talking sword. We learned a bit about the decline of the riding Gokuden then, too. It seems like such a shame. What was the reason behind their decline? <sighs> that, my friends, is a tragic tale indeed. In fact, this was not made known to me for most of my life. All these years, I knew of those great clan's demise, but never the cause. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Only recently, when the question was on my mind, did I ask Kaedehara Kazuha about this? I guess the reason's gonna be different. It's not gonna be that Scaramouche tampered with the forging. He told me that, as we are both heirs to a branch of the Raiden Gokunin, it was right that I should know the truth. There is no harm in telling you, but I must warn you. It is a dark and sorrowful tale. I guess this one maybe might have some bloodshed. The Raiden Gokunin were the targets of a murderous rampage by a vengeful bladesmith. Vengeful? Why? 400 years ago, so I'm told, there was a catastrophic malfunction in Tatarasuna's furnace. One brave swordsmith heard the commotion uh... and chose not to flee, but he rushed to the scene, hoping to prevent a disaster. I see. So he used that as the catalyst? Tatarasuna was home to a state-of-the-art forging and smelting operation in that day. And overseeing it was the armory officer. His surname was Niwa, though he had family ties to the Kaedehara clan. Yeah. 
knowing that they had just one chance to save countless lives. Mr. Niwa and the swordsmith leaped together into the furnace. The furnace quickly stabilized, but... Neither of them. Made of it them. Out. The smith's death, though heroic, dealt a devastating blow to his family's fortunes. His orphan son was left to fend for himself and grew up deeply resentful at the world. Yeah, everybody still died, but it wasn't at the hand of the balladeer. It was at the, it, it like, so basically events still played out the same way. Like the end result happened, but the way they got there was different. So the timeline isn't completely screwed up in that way. So technically, I guess it did happen the same way it happened with Ruka Devada. It's just the sequence of events were changed, but you still reached that same conclusion. In his heart, the whole of Inazuma was culpable in his tragedy. He hated the almighty Shogun for her apparent indifference towards his father's death. Mm. And he hated everyone who had done nothing to try and save him. So this uh, this orphaned son is the stand-in for what would have been Balladeer. Powerless and destitute, the only legacy he had to pass on to his children was his hatred. That sucks, though. Generation after generation bore this grudge living in utter misery because like realistically scaramouche just changed this kid's fate too it's like that wasn't the case before but in order for him to not exist someone had to take his place alas if only the story could have ended there oh my god what but 100 years ago the then head of this family reached the end of his wits uh he could bear their fate no longer and yet he could do nothing to change it finally he made a drastic decision to take revenge on the ride in Gokuten. In doing so, he sought to vent his pet to anger and shake the very foundations of Inazuma's forging industry. Oh dear. In his fury, he murdered indiscriminately, killing even bladesmiths from the Hyakume clan which he belonged to. His goal was absolute. Wow. The devastation of all of the ride in Gokuten. But when he came to the Kaedehara and Kamisato clans, his killing spree came to an abrupt end. He failed to catch them unawares. Damn. They fought back fiercely, and they did not spare his life. Damn, he was trying to kill. He was like, yo, I dare you to catch me slipping. That is why the Kaedehara clan and their Ishin art survived that day. Mm. I suppose they were the lucky ones under the dire circumstances. Yeah, I mean, you should have seen the previous timeline. The legend of the Raiden Gokuden has changed. Someone else attacked the swordsmiths. Not just that, it wasn't just attacking the swordsmiths. He also like tampered with the forging. So that way their practice was also crippled. Looks like the Balladeer did something in Erminso, but it seems Niwa still died. Was there anything else you wanted to ask? That sucks, because, like, that was the whole thing. He wanted to go back in time to make sure the people that died at that time didn't die, but it still happened. Like, you can only change sequences. You can't change, like, whole-ass events. Have you seen Kazuha late recently? Kazuha? Why, yes. Just yesterday, in fact. We spoke for a while over some tea. He seemed well. Phew, so he still exists, and he's the same Kazuha I know. Things don't seem as bad as I feared last night. That's all. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Thank you, sir. Don't tell Paimon. There are other places you want to visit too, right? Mm -hmm. Kamisato clan? <laughs> Your expression says it all. You can't hide anything from Paimon. <clears throat> Except the truth. On to the next stop. Lead the way, traveler. Paimon will be right behind you. We're here. Um, this is the Yashiro Commission's headquarters, so... Yeah, we're looking for uh, the two of them. Traveler, it's been a while. Oh, hello. If you're looking for the Commissioner and Miss Kamisato, I'm afraid your timing is unfortunate. Of course. They're not here right now. Are they out on business? The Commissioner is out on business, and Miss Kamisato is standing in for some meetings in the Commissioner's place. I see. If it's urgent, you're welcome to wait inside until they get back. What do you think? Shall we go in? Thank you. We'll take you up on that offer. Oh, we actually might see them then. Uh, can we take a walk in the courtyard? If it were anyone else, I couldn't allow it. But seeing as you're so close with the commissioner and Miss Kamisato, I think it should be okay. Cool. We'll be heading in then. Thanks. Thanks, man. Hmm? Oh. Hello, dears. 
Is there something you want to say? Ma'am, can I ask you a couple questions? <laughs> of course, Traveler. Yes, I know who you are. Miss Kamisato has told me about you. What would you like to know? How are the commissioners and Miss Kamisato these days? Oh, they're both very well indeed. Lately, Miss Kamisato has been rather busy attending all kinds of meetings and occasionally paying visits to some local organizations on the commissioner's behalf. Hi, right, this voice acting is uh, very, very interesting. Let's just put it that way. As for the commissioner himself, well, you know. Busy as ever. That much hasn't changed. Although, he does seem to be in a rather good mood these days. Old people, man. They're slow at moving and they're slow at talking, I'll tell you. So pretty much business as usual in the Yashiro Commission, huh? Very much so. Ayato is still the Yashiro Commissioner. Ayaka is still the Lady of the House. No changes there. As far as I can see, nothing's changed to the Yashiro Commission either. I was expecting as much, but it's still a good relief to know that the Kamisato siblings are both safe and well. Well, got any more questions? That's all for now. Thank you, ma'am. You're very welcome. In fact, I would love nothing more than for you to come and visit more often. But I'm sure you must be far too busy to have time for that. <laughs> I'm so thankful that you understand that I cannot be around here for much longer, ma'am. Oh, here we go. <gasps> oh my god. I thought... I was like, oh my god, is that the fucking Fontaine Dottore, dude? Yo, it's Xavier! What the hell? My boy! Well, here we are. But what are we looking for? <laughs> Something or someone? Do my eyes deceive me, or is that the Traveler and Paimon? Yo, Xavier, my boy! Xavier? What are you doing here? Xavier? It's Xavier. Come on now. I was in the general area, and now I'm in this specific area. There, that's me. So what about you two? <laughs> Yo, short, sweet, and to the point. I like this guy. We have some questions and thought you might be able to help. Oh, I guess it's French. Xavier, I guess. I guess in French, you gotta, like, exaggerate the word. I mean, more so than Xavier, but, like, I see that word, and I immediately... I'm like, Xavier, of course. Do you know much about Tatarasuna? Certainly do. I've researched the furnace here in some depth. If there's anything you want to know, just ask away. How well do you understand the history of this area? Like the back of my hand? <laughs> Make no mistake, I have been here a good many times before. Not only that, but I've met people in Inazuma whose families used to live in Tatarasuna years ago. Mm. They said it's all true, the history here. Go on, I'm listening. Hmm? Oh, well, hmm? Uh, it's a long story, don't you know? <laughs> the tale of Tatarasuna starts a long time ago. I'm told that its history is one of the most foremost forging and smelting operations in the nation goes back around a thousand years. Still, the furnace has had a couple of serious maintenance issues along the way. We've been through there, dude. The Tatarasuna tales? Or Tatara tales? A couple? When exactly? One was just in the last few years, the other was several hundred years ago. Mm. A fun fact, I'm not the first Fontaine tech guy to come and work on it either. <laughs> there was a guy back then too. Yep. They say he was a mechanic who consulted on a technology upgrade. It seems like the technological collaboration between our two nations goes back a long way. How about that? I like this guy's personality, though. He seems pretty chipper. Mechanic, huh? Looks like the doctor still sabotaged the furnace, leading to all of the ensuing caught chaos. Hey, weren't you going to ask Xavier something about Tatarasuna? Come on, ask her. I am! Give me my freaking pa- Like, have some patience, Paimon! What happened to that? Oh, I didn't realize you two were here for a history lesson. Me neither. <laughs> Paimon doesn't know what's gotten into this one today. Feels like we've been preparing for a history exam or something. Hmm? What brought this on? Did you just wake up today with a sudden burning desire for historical knowledge? Pretty much. So can I ask one more question? Sure. Go ahead. Have you ever heard of a kabuki mono connected to Tatarasuna? A kabuki mono? Hmm. Mm. No, I can't say that I have. 
I do know the word, Inazuman, for those eccentric types who always go around dressed to the nines. Damn. Just the sort of person that I'd like to meet, actually. But sadly, I've never had the pleasure, nor have I come across anything to do with a kabuki mono where Tatara Suna is concerned. So there's no more kabuki mono. Did the balladeer really manage to erase himself from history completely? If so, he must have wanted to change the world and revert everything back to the way it was. But so far, it looks like the majority of changes have only affected himself. Thank you, Xavier. Of course. Don't mention it. Oh, we're leaving? Okay, bye, Xavier. Oh, you're most welcome. Hmm. More than happy to help. I'll see you next year. Farewell. Bye bye bye. Looks like you got all the information you're looking for. Time to get back and see Lesser Lord Kusanali. Sure, but what's up with you today? Whatever it is, it seems like it's really troubling you. I'm losing my mind right now, Paimon. Don't mind me. Keep your smile, Spinal Crocodile. No matter what happens, Paimon will always be there for you. Hmm. <laughs> That's cute. Thank you, Paimon. Hey, don't mention it. <laughs> All right, let's head off and go meet Nahida. I love Paimon. It's so sad that they're setting us up with every every moment she mentions. I'll never leave you. You'll always be my best friend. You're the bestest person ever. You're my whole world. It's so sad that they're gonna they're saying all these things when they're just gonna like turn Paimon against us at the end of the game. Oh, you weren't supposed to hear that chat. You didn't hear that chat, okay? You didn't hear that, by the way. I can't get fired. Don't tell them. Don't tell them I told you, okay? It's between you and me.